Hello, hello, and today me and my favorite Sharky is going to show you what to do in real situations with a shark. Okay, how not to be afraid and what can be done if the shark is near you. Okay, so first of all, don't do big eyes and start to panic. This is number one, don't panic. Even if something dangerous is happening to you, you need to be very calm, very calm. Stop, stop, think, act. So you stop, you establish eye contact, okay, eye contact with the shark. You look at her, you let her know that you are aware. And like every animal, if you have a chance to avoid you just move away, move out of the way, okay? That's the easiest part. If the shark is coming to you and you can move, you give her away, okay? She will go away. She will always go away, like every animal. And if it is not possible to uh, get out of the way, you are too close, you look at her, you don't panic and you redirect her. So again, how you do that? You have this big shark in front of you. She's coming, you look at her and you gently redirect her. Okay, and it will go somewhere else. How to prevent a shark attack? Rule number one, don't create this big splash. When you take your fins on, and you start to splashing like real hard what happens why shark is coming because you sound like her food and like 911 shark we have a situation we need to clean the ocean from the animal who is you know uh, sick and you need to clean up this mess she's coming and she's eating him that's how she's cleaning up the mess that's why we call them the sanitary team of the ocean sharkies that's why we call them the cleaners of the oceans okay because they pick up everything that is not healthy and sick and injured and clean that up it's a dangerous world underwater there is no thing like call a doctor and everything doctor shark is just eating it and that's how the problem is solved okay there is no mercy in it but this is the world so don't sound like <laughs> like your food don't sound like you're injured don't sound like you really don't have a chance and don't make a lot of splash so when you do a lot of splashing a lot of splashing a lot of splashing pam 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 look who's coming been to this amazing synologue, uh, synologue festival. It has a religious history, but it's really, really funny. And they paint your face black with charcoal. It's a lot of fun. So the, some pieces of charcoal is still on the on my souvenir. I got a balloon specially for this video to teach you how to deal with a shark. Okay, <laughs> very, very important. To have this understanding that if you manage this situation you're gonna be all right okay it's the same as a dog if you show fear the dog will bark and bite if you show confidence the dog will bark and probably go find somebody else to bark at and to bite and he will leave you alone the same situation with the shark that's why in some languages and in turkish language for sure it's called <laughs> dogfish okay because it's kind of dog of the ocean it has big teeth it doesn't bark it but it's like it can attack usually attacks uh, not really because she really wants uh, to eat a human you are not her food never what they want to do they want to hunt and if there is murky 
tur uh, turbid water, you know, if it is bad visibility, you're on the way, she's hunting for something. She can taste you because she doesn't know what you are. And most of the people don't die from the shark that is eating them, but they sh uh, die from the uh, bleeding, you know, they lost too much blood because when shark tasting them, she takes a piece, like a big piece, create an environment where you are not prone to accidents, okay? Again, if the shark is coming, don't let her touch you. This is a pre-bite situation. She's going to touch you and then she's going to go and bite you. She's coming. She's coming, coming. You look at her. You gently take her by the nose and tell her go elsewhere. Okay? And she will go elsewhere. Maybe next to you, maybe. <laughs> you know why it's a balloon? That because underwater she can be above you. She can be beneath you. She can be in front of you. She can be behind you. That's why when you're diving, when you swim, and so on, this and that, always look around. Look around. Look around. Hmm. Dive safe. Don't harm the sharks. They are very nice. They are not attacking first, unless they are provoked, scared, or misleaded. So don't mislead sharks. Tell them that they are welcome to pass by. Tell them their direction. If you know your direction, you can also show them their direction, okay? And they will go away. Again, don't put the hand too much in the jaws or something, just, you know, the nose, gently. Gently do things and you will be safe. Bye-bye!